Okay. Okay, just bend your feet so you can squeeze in off the off the steps. So the part two of our section on intertwined is um, the guy from that video game you saw earlier on, Dave McCabe. Now of uh, making games, which is really cool. I mean, we've seen some great games demoed outside, we've seen some great games shown here. But I want to take the focus and just bring it back a little bit. It's also about how we're making our futures. So, Ireland doesn't have the biggest industry, and it's great to see so many people going out and creating their own companies, creating their own games, and especially in the middle of a recession. You know, it's fantastic to see that. But again, I want to take the focus and just bring it back a little bit. We're not just making our own games, we are together making the future of the Irish industry. And as Ben says, we have to help one another through that because uh, it's only by sharing that information and so on that we can really create something, a real future for the people coming behind us. But I want to take a focus a little bit bigger. We're in fact creating the future. So it's these, the celebrated comic creator Alan Moore, the writer of Watchmen and V for Dead and so many other pieces. When his friends on their 40th birthdays um, bought Porsches and motorbikes as part of their midlife crises, he decided that no, he wasn't going to have a midlife crisis. He was going to call his friends together and on his 40th birthday tell them he was a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> this might seem to some of you like a midlife crisis, but if we explore what he means by this, that is to say, you know, a person who creates magic and what is magic for taking something from nothing and using that something to change the world around you. So, Alexander Graham Bell, for example, one day had an idea, and that's all that these things are, had an idea to create what we could communicate over long distances by wires. Now we have the telephone, we see how that's uh, evolved. Um, Alan Acorn one day had the idea to make a game called Pong, and now, look at the video games have become one of the biggest industries in the world, and we're all gathered here as a result of that idea. Those people change the world. It's the 42nd anniversary of Pong today. I've only got five more to come <laughs> <laughs> So, um, if, we, if we follow this idea of magic a little bit further, we have what magic, which is magic that is selfless and is good and brings new ideas and uh, brings awareness of the world. And obviously, we see games like uh, Depression Quest that uh, show people what, it, what depression is like, games like Examples, let's move on. Um, but even things like, it doesn't all have to be sharing awareness and opening up new ideas. Games like um, Kentucky Route Zero is a really beautiful, uh, just a magical experience to play through. And these are, these are the fantastic, the white magic ideas of our world. But of course we have uh, dark magic, which is selfish and maintains a negative status quo. I mean, we don't even have to look at games. Look at Kinder Eggs right now. Where now they're branded blue toys or blue eggs for boys and pink eggs for girls. Heaven forbid your, your, your son would play with a pony or your daughter might actually get her hands in a car. The world would fall apart if that was to happen. So, if, <laughs> if, you, are, if you were to accept the idea that um, the creation of ideas is, you know, is magic, and then if you were to accept that, Culture is the inheritance of ideas and values and beliefs from around us and from uh, people beforehand. And you acknowledge that the traditional shapers of culture, the less people are reading books, um, TV viewership is down, let's go to art galleries, the theatre, and so on and so forth. And um, while video games are on the rise, then you kind of have to ask yourself, as game developers or the wizards of our media, what is the culture you want to help shape? What is the future that you want to create for your children? And is that reflected in your games? Uh, because of their time concerns, I'm going to jump on real quickly and just bring up this Marshall McLuhan quote. But anyone who tries to make a distinction between education and entertainment doesn't know the first thing about either. Thank you very much for indulging me for three minutes. Uh, I hope you have a really nice evening. Okay, next up is Paul Andrew McGee. With an ever-changing name, we got so confused in the changing titles. Uh -huh. 
Roger.